Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. One of the reasons I love this show is we have people that come into our studio and get to sit down here and share such personal stories that really inspires people and educates people. And my next guest uh, it does exactly that. I'm joined by Christine Labbe. She is the CEO and co-founder of Evolve Movement Canada. Welcome, Christine. Great to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I was going to actually start off asking about Evolve, but I think it's better to start off talking about your personal story. Tell me a little bit about uh, you have a child um, with Rett syndrome. Um, tell me about your journey that you and your family has had so far. So I have a daughter with Rett syndrome. She's non-ambulatory and non-verbal. Um, the journey was difficult starting out. It's a very difficult journey for parents. Uh, but you know, it's beautiful because in the end it's really turned into this beautiful gift and I've learned so much and feel like I'm such a happier more joyful, more authentic person as a result of right. the journey with my daughter Gabby. Yeah, and I'm glad you, you know, I'm, I'm glad you called it a gift mm -hmm. because I, I think that gets left out of the conversation. No matter what challenge any of us go through, I don't think we consider it a gift often enough. A gift in what, in what way would you say, Christine? I think it's because initially we have this idea of what life is supposed to be like. Right. We have this idea of what our children are supposed to be like. And so it kind of keeps us in this rigid box of what life is. And I feel like when you have a child that's different, it's requiring you to kind of step out of that box and to start seeing things from a much bigger perspective. So you really start to see what's possible for yourself, what's possible for your child, because you really have to start thinking outside the box, right? I mean, right. I did mention Gabby's nonverbal, non-ambulatory, mm -hmm. so you have to learn all kinds of new forms of communication. You have to learn how to connect on a deeper level you know, with, with another human being. Yeah. So these are all beautiful things that are then brought into your life in general and into how you show up in general, in, general, in life, in your career, et cetera. So then this is obviously the inspiration behind Evolve. So t tell me what Evolved ha has evolved into. Yes. So Evolve actually began as a business where we offered an at Beniel method neuro movement, okay. which is a modality that I actually practice with my daughter and that I practice with other children that are neurodivergent. However, it's now grown to become much bigger than that now. It's actually now a place where we offer conscious and holistic family healing support. So we really support the whole family. It's not just about supporting that neurodivergent child. As I said, it's a difficult journey for the parent as well. So it's important to really support the parent through that journey so yeah. that they can really learn what they need to do to be able to show up for their children in the ways that their children are going to need them to. When I've spoken to other parents uh, that, that have children with, with special needs or neurodivergent children, I think the other fear that they, they've had, you know, is that they're a parent for life. Right, that that you know you you will have your child in your household. Um, have you had those discussions with parents? And you know, in your own mind, what what have you gone through? I'm sure it's been an emotional roller coaster, right? As a, as a parent. Yes, and this is a difficult one, right? Because, mm -hmm. and I, I think this is a beautiful thing to mention because there's the parenting, and there's the caretaking. Right. The parenting is this beautiful experience where you learn so much about yourself through the experience with your child. Their caregiving is very challenging, right? When right. we're talking about staying up all night because our children are unwell, or you know, changing diapers until our children are in their t well into their 20s, you know, that can become very difficult. And I say to parents, it's very important to have people around you, a support system, you know, whether that's nurses or caregivers or people around to be able to allow you to have that time for self-care and to find that balance. Balance is so key for parents. Yeah, and uh, you know, just describing the, the caregiving side of it, you really have to build your, your own support team, right? You have to be your own advocate. That, that's exhausting for somebody to, to, to be a parent, to be a caregiver, and then at the same time, I, you know, we're not gonna be around forever. I need to build a support system, you know, for, for my child when I'm, when I'm no longer around. Right? Yes, absolutely. And you know, those are things that we actually talk about these kinds of things. Yeah. We have through Evolve a community 
for parents where we actually speak to different topics like this, where we answer questions, where we speak to different concerns, where we help the parents through the healing process. And this is actual, actually a virtual program where parents can do it from wherever. They can do it from their right. home and they get access to our entire team of practitioners. They also get access to videos and then we create videos on demand based on you know these kinds of questions that people may have. Can you pass me that book beside Absolutely. you here? Because this is something else that that you've you know that, that you've done tell me a little bit about the idea behind this book so this book is really important to me it's actually it speaks to the experience with my children those are my children there really it's my daughter right. Gabby and her big sister Juliana and nice. you know I feel like the siblings are often forgotten on this journey yes. we didn't even talk about the siblings that's true so I felt like writing a book that spoke to the experience of the sibling was really important because it highlights the gifts that can be uncovered through the connection with the brother or sister that has special needs or that is neurodivergent. And that's really what this story is about. It's also meant, so if you go to the end of the book, there's yeah. actually an author's note that is okay. meant to educate parents that have neurotypical children. It's meant to educate them so that they can explain to their children a little bit more about you know, neurodivergent children, how they may be able to connect with them, you know, how they might be able to communicate with them, how they might interact with them. So at the back of the book, that's really where there's so much information for educators, for parents, for therapists, just to open for society up. society in general. Everyone, Christine. everyone. Because again, you know, I ask some of those questions because I find they're very taboo and people don't want to talk about it and, and not only you know society in, in general but I imagine you get that with with parents who you know when you bring up that question it, sometimes we just put things on the back burner and you know we don't we don't want to talk about it. please tell me how people can get a copy of the book and how they can find out more information about what you offer through evolve yes so they can find the book on amazon.ca amazon.com indigo uh, in terms of our services they can find us at evolvemovement.ca okay where they can find classes they can find the members of our team Excellent. and just reach out to us thank you so much Christine really appreciate your time today we'll be right back after this